Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. My dogs, they crack me up. I like come outside and they're going crazy. It's like there's barking in every direction. There's nothing out here. They were literally laying here on the little doggy bed right here. Just quiet, just quiet until I came outside. So it is the day after our fun day to the lake. So family is a little bit slow moving. I got up, I didn't get up super early today. I was gonna get up like five o'clock early and I'm like, you know what? I need to sleep a little bit. So I did and then um, got up and I had to edit yesterday's video. So I got that done then I was like, it's already like 9.30, like time is falling. By the time you do comments, I had to pick a winner for Julia giveaway. And then, and I apologize, like I never talked about it, but unfortunately i have zero control on like the spamming and stuff on my youtube channel and so they had there was somebody that was posing i had my picture hold on there was somebody that was posing it had my picture but it was like not my name and it like it was like congratulations you're a short-term winner or something like that and contacting you to pay it said to pay this money i hope no one paid that money that was all illegal wrong activity i would go on there and um report it as spam so if there's something i miss Please report it as spam to like whoever YouTube. They just have that. I try to go through and get my comments during the day multiple times, but those ones were tricky because they weren't showing up in my normal app that shows the comments. Sometimes like some comments will fly under the radar. Most of the time, like I think 99% of the time I get all of your comments. And then there's some I'll be like, oh, I didn't even respond to that. So which I don't know how it happens or what it does, but YouTube misses it. So, but those ones for some reason weren't even coming through my app, most of them. So I would find them later after someone said, did I really win? And I'd go in there and look and then I have to click and find it. So my apologies, but I did pick the winner this morning. So this is a week later. I'm sure the winner has been contacted, but anytime, anytime you would win something, I would let you know, I'm not gonna scam you. Don't like, trust me, it will come directly from me from my email not from some side person so so bad on it but i'm thankful that i was able to do the giveaway so anyways did that this morning did emails and there's like just like a lot of computer work that goes into doing youtube and so and i know and i know it's a lot of work because i know other youtube moms do youtube and you know they have other people helping them with their channel doing things and hiring people which i get that i understand because it takes a lot of time i get that so for myself i do everything myself i do my editing i do my thumbnails and i do um all my like emails i do all the sponsorships everything like that i take care of myself and it's, it's a lot of extra work it is a lot of extra work and so thankful to do i'm very thankful to do it but i also am a and it's not like my kids are all in school so my kids are all at home full time so i'm doing all of this full time at home and putting out a video every single day every day doing a video and they're long videos they're not short videos they're long ones so it does take a lot of time thankful to do it but it does take time so i'm learning along the way with everybody else so you do what you can do so today i was like you know what we've been doing our um morning devotions together and i was like i didn't even get to start my video yet and i'm like that's okay i will get to it eventually here as the day rolls so it is like nine it's now ten o'clock kids are moving they got up they've been getting up and we've been having devotion time in the morning just things that get pushed by the wayside it's so easy to do that when you get caught up in life and working and everything else and it's easy to put things aside and so this weekend was a really good reminder for me don't mind my ducks to like all right i need to refocus get what's important to me and you know what everything else falls into place and it really does fall into place it really really does putting the things that are important first and then everything else hello do you don't need my copy ruby's such a drooly dog <laughs> Everything else falls into place. So that's where I'm at today. So I thought the kids are all sitting there on the couch, all chilling, everybody's exhausted and tired from the lake. I get it. So I'm like, I need to come outside and start my video. So I'm out here having coffee and then I'm gonna go back in. Um, normally I would show you cleaning everything up. I threw some laundry in today. I'm not gonna do a lot of that. I do have a lot of extra stuff to do today. So we're gonna show you all the extra stuff we do. It's real life, real life video and what I'm doing. And so um, we just came home last night. It was, we were tired, 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 tired. And so, um, Everybody showered and went to bed. We just put the stuff in the refrigerator. They had to go in the refrigerator and then everything else was left out. So kids will help pick out everything up today and get things done. And then um, it'll be easy. I'm gonna be outside today. I wanna get some outside work done. We've gotta do some spider spraying, like massive spider spraying action. So on the pool deck, like yesterday when I was up there getting all the floaties, I was like, there's just like those funnel spiders and everything. And so before we left, I did spray the inside one for the girls' room. Found out where the big giant spider was hiding in their bedroom, which is scary. So, got those all taken care of so now um 
we need to spray outside because the ants are everywhere, spiders are everywhere. Get that taken care of. We're gonna go in the pool today, get that rolling, and then um, some outside work. I gotta pick the, I didn't pick the weeds by my plants. I said I was gonna do, so that's my list today. Normally, the inside stuff that I normally clean and show all you guys on Monday, the other kids take care of all of that today. So, hold on, I just sneeze. I took an allergy pill a little bit ago. Feeling very, very stuffy today. It's so weird because like it doesn't affect me and then like just the last hour I'm like, whoa, I can just feel sinuses so it'll get good here. So I'll be stuffy for a little bit and that'll go away. So the kids are going to take care of the inside stuff so I won't really have a lot to do. I'm going to make food today because we need to eat so it'll be something easy, fun and delicious I'm sure. And then along with just picking up from the, the lake day. So we're going to have a great day. I'm going to finish my coffee, go in and see my family and bring it along for the day. So good. Real life. This is real life. Mama, this is what she does. This is what she does the day after a mini vacation or a mini day at the lake and real life real life that's what you want right real life mom <laughs> a real life mom doing it getting it done working being a mom being a homeschool mom all those good things so let's go in and have life all right let's go came inside now so now i need to get just the stuff picked up there's not a lot to do i'm filling the sink up there's a few water bottles to be washed i'll put those in the sink for somebody else and just kind of wipe out the coolers it's easy and then uh, let them settle to dry and put them away Okay, this is just bare minimum here that I'm gonna do because I want the vacuums to go because there's sand everywhere. <laughs> so this stuff is sitting here. Kids are gonna take care of all of their downstairs doing the other work. This they're gonna put away. I'm just basically picking up the part I'm going to do. They're gonna do the rest. So this is all I gotta do in here. Problem with sand, sand travels everywhere. So <laughs> everywhere I walk, I got sand and it's going. So let's vacuum. Thank you, Yeedy, for sponsoring this part of today's video. You guys know I love my robot vacuums. These things have been a game changer since I first had one a few years ago. Now I've received many, many of these over the years. And what I like about them is that they keep improving more and more and more and they just get better and better and better so what this one has is it got 3d obstacle avoidance technology which is really nice because it senses and dodges obstacles in its way versus you know sucking everything up and getting stuck on it which does happen to them sometimes it detects spaces between and under furniture and it avoids entering if that space is lower or narrower than the yidi's body because some of mine gets stuck under my couch and I'm like, oh, I always have to go in there and pull them out. So you can download the app and you can program it to vacuum your floor. I just like to push start and let it do my floor. Let it find its way and do its thing. So I had to set up a little area here for it to kind of stay within so that it can vacuum it kind of as best I could without going over the entire floor. So I put some crumbs on here and some coffee grounds and my um, rug in here. So you can kind of see how it goes over the floor, vacuums it up and then when it gets to the rug, it does like extra suction to show it, you know, sucks a little bit more, it can detect that it's carpet and we'll do a better job cleaning it. I had to have Steven stand on the edge of the rug. The rug, I would not use this one in my living room. You guys know this one goes in my kitchen. So it's not as stuck to the floor as it is like in the kitchen area. So we had to like hold the edge down for a minute to do this. But typically in a house, you're not gonna have one that's gonna slide everywhere. So, it, but it does move around the objects. It was, it took the sunscreen, it sensed it was there and went around it, which was cool. The, the shoe, it kind of slid it. Thought it was just too light so that's why we had the bowl and then steven said put a plant in them so it's heavier so and it shows how it would do the action with that so what i also like about this one it also has mopping action always good to have mopping action on the floors because who wants to wash the floor after vacuuming especially when you get a large area to do it's different about the mopping action on the yeedy is that it vibrates so it's pretty cool because it takes oscillating mopping modular moves like back and forth to mimic manual 
mopping, which is really nice because sometimes it just slides across the floor and then I'm like, it doesn't really do anything. That's what I found in my other one. So this one actually moves. So a little benefit from the others. It also has customizable cleaning, which it, the wet will not go on the carpet. It senses the carpet and will not go on the carpet, which is really good as well. But just very cool to be able to mop and go back and forth. I think that to me is the, the greatest little thing ever on it. So most vacuums I found go in like weird random patterns. I like this one at least follows a back and forth kind of similar row pattern. You know, I put stuff in it its way, so it's going to make it a little bit off, but for the most part, it goes back and forth, which is really nice. You can kind of know how the pattern's going to go. Yeah, all that in this little area kind of throws, so lots of dirt in there. It picked up all the stuff I dropped on the floor purposely. You guys remember the steam mop when you show the bottom of your steam mop? Boom, right here. This just did this area of the floor right here. Gross, 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 but very cool because it goes back and forth. Now, if I were to use like a regular Robot vacuum with that on there, it like just barely skims the surface. So very cool when it goes back and forth. It has a little thing right here. You gotta make sure this is dry when you plug it in. So Yeti, great little product for a vacuum. So if you're in the, the neighborhood for getting a robot vacuum, like I've shared many over the years, different kinds, different things, the different ones I get, they definitely have improved technology. This is very cool because it's like suction back and forth. It's definitely, the quality is nice and sturdy. The wheels are nice and big. I like the bigger wheels. I like the small vacuum too. I have a really small one that goes under my couches up here, which is nice because you know, you don't want to clean under there. Bigger ones won't go under these couches just because they're a little bigger, but the bigger ones are heavier duty. Like the wheels on the bottom, they're just like, Bring just a whole lot nicer, just a nicer quality one. We have one like this downstairs and it's just a better quality one and it definitely lasts a whole lot better than uh, just the cheaper ones. So good, a little vacuum Yeedy. So if you guys wanna get yourself a vacuum, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. So thank you Yeedy for sponsoring this part of today's video. All right, let's keep working. Another gorgeous day. So I'm hanging more towels outside even though I'm feeling the allergens in my air, there's just a lot of things to dry. So hang them out on the railing. So a little tip for the beach instead of like we we bought a couple beach blankets and they are they're just costly and they get like they're thicker they're harder to wash we use them for a little bit and they get dirty and they don't get clean very good well guess what sheets get some old sheets go to we used to garage and go to goodwill go to goodwill or even buy a brand new one these were um i think lauren gave us the yellow ones and then the blue one we had on our bed these are great flat sheets for the beach are great they are easy you can put them in the water rinse off the sand you can lay them on the rocks like i did to dry they're great to take, so we love taking big giant sheets. That was my, my Aunt Sandy used to do that back in the day. Thank you, Aunt Sandy, if you watch us. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna get my stuff together and head out and do the pool, and I gotta do my car in the yard. <laughs> okay, first thing I gotta stop sneezing because I'm so full of it. Even Greg said he woke up just stuffy, so I'm gonna go back in, and then I'm gonna get my stuff done, figure out what I gotta do, go outside, either do my car, the pool, or the yard, we'll figure out what we gotta do next. All right, I'm over here by the pool. I got Autumn over there filling up pool floaties that we took to the lake. So I'm gonna actually drop our vacuum in here to get the vacuum going. And then I'm, I am had to keep the dogs down because they wanna get up here. I have to spray spider spray all over there because they are living in there and get the spider spray to coat the stuff here, get the deck sprayed so we can live up here without spiders everywhere.
and a spray for ants all over here and spiders. So I'm spraying it. Oh, I have like a big splotch hole in one second. So I'm spraying as much as I can down. It is gonna rain in a few days, but there's like spider webs everywhere. So I'll spray this and then like later I'll go up on our deck and kind of spray everything off so we can sit on there today. But I just need to kill the spiders in that. And if people are like, leave the spiders alone, they're good for the environment. Well, until you live in an area where there's poisonous spiders and they actually can kill you and do damage to you, then you might not think about spraying. I never thought about spraying in my life in Michigan. I didn't really care. Just got the spider, got out of the house. Well, here we've actually gotten bit. A family member got bit by a brown recluse and they were in bed for a week. So they're not very safe. So we spray and then the ants come and they're more like termite ants. And then they literally eat away at your foundation and like your house will move off the mountain. No lie. So we're spraying really good to get rid of those. <laughs>
Okay, car is clean. Oh my goodness, there's so much pollen in the air today. I just keep sneezing nonstop. Like nonstop, I cannot stop sneezing. I've already taken an allergy pill, which is crazy. So, what a fun day. But I've gotten everything wiped off here. I'm using my, nor like a microfiber cloth. I really do just like that. I, Greg, I bought the chamois thing. I don't love it, Greg loves it, so he uses that. But I just like my Norx cloth wiping everything off. So, it's good. Car is clean. I don't know why I'm cleaning it because I just see the pollen in the air. It's literally gonna go on top and I can't get my car in the garage right now because Greg is working on his truck, which is in front of the garage. So, <laughs> just gonna have to wait. But at least it's clean, the inside is clean, all the white sand is out. White shows up super well in black, but we've got all the beach sand out. All right, doing good. I am so feeling allergy so bad today. It's like, I'm so stuffy, it's crazy. But we're pushing through, we're getting down. What a day to be outside. I don't feel like, it doesn't seem like there'd be anything wrong because it's such a blue sky day, but it's like clogging me. My nose is just draining, so it's good. We're gonna get there. So I'm gonna take and just hose off a little bit of my deck for the spider spray because the kids are gonna be out here today. It at least got into where they live and we'll just wipe it off where they're gonna sit. Okay, don't mind me. I just splashed water in my face trying to get the pollen out of my nasal cavity or wherever. <laughs> this is driving me crazy. So, pool's gone. I turned the filter on. The sun is still not over on the um, the solar thing, but it will get there. So, I turned it on because the kids will come out. And I was just like, just going to go inside because I feel awful. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to come over here and pick these weeds around my um, flower bush. I can't bring you too far because it's a steep incline. But I'm going to go over there and pick those up so I can be done because it's on my list forever. Then I'll go in and see if I can get another allergy pill for the day. All right, so I took a little break. I just sat down, had some lunch. I'm like, took another allergy pill. It's gonna make me super tired today, which is so not good, but it is what it is. I just cannot stop sneezing. You know, being outside in the wonderful fresh air, probably the number one problem. <laughs> so, but I'm almost done. So I'm gonna go put my floor mats in my car and then um, pick up my mess and then I'll be done out here. I'm pretty sure, and then I can go inside. So I've been sitting at my desk here editing. Oh my goodness, it has been a bad day for me, like feeling horrible, horrible. Like I was editing this and like the whole time I was working outside, I was sneezing and I could not stop sneezing. My nose was dripping. I know I'm disgusting, maybe too much information. Just horrible, just horrible. But I'm like, I gotta get done. Just gotta finish it, get done. So came in the house and I was like, gonna film myself shutting out the windows and doing what I'm doing, but I just felt so awful. I just took another allergy pill. So I took two of them, which is probably not good, but. I'm finally feeling some like what somewhat better from them. I'm still sneezing, but not as much. And then I've got all my windows shut. I just sneezed again. Um, I've got all my windows shut and I've got the air on. So I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, I just need to get through my day. I'm like, what I really feel like doing is laying on my couch. So I came in, started looking at food, and I'm like, you know what? I feel like let's make it a chicken patty and waffle fry night in the air fryer. Yes. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. And we've got that good watermelon. Oh my goodness. Like I know seed seeded watermelon is not like real watermelon seedless obviously we've got our seeds it just smells so much better seedless watermelon obviously it's not as good as seeded watermelon but they had it and they were cutting it up and i'm like that just smells like a real watermelon which is so funny it just obviously it's a real thing so i'm thinking we're gonna have that tonight with the chicken and the waffle pies and we're gonna do them on the air fryer i'm okay with that Brooklyn's like why don't you just make it later and i'm like let's do that so the rest of the evening here what we're gonna do is i was editing today's video to get I pretty much finished so I don't have to work too long tonight because I just feel horrible. And then we got all the towels outside, you know, it's really good to hang your towels outside when you can't breathe. <sighs> probably throw those in the dryer for a few minutes and then um, kids, we're gonna probably go to the pool, kind of stir up the pool a little bit and then it's, you know what, it's an easy day. It's an easy day. Sometimes you gotta have those days I'm just like, not there. I'm just like, ah, oh, in my nasal cavity here. Even Maxine's sneezing. Are you sneezing? You are, aren't you? Get my hair, mom. 
So we're just sneezing away here. So I've got my vacuum going. You know that little Yeti vacuum I showed you in today's video. So I actually filmed that later in today. So I apologize that I was super stuffy in it. <sighs> just part of my life today. So it's still, it, I just let it go to mop all my floors up. It's doing an awesome job. So it's going through my whole upstairs here, cleaning away, which is really a nice little feature. So, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go get some more water. See if the kids want to finish up, go in the pool a little bit and just, you know, mix up our day. Cause you know, we're going to have a good day regardless. And then we can chill and go to bed tonight early. That's what I'm even for later. <laughs> All right, let me go come back in a little bit. So I took a little bit of a break, went out to the pool. The kids did not want to swim. They were like tired from yesterday. So I was like, I will jump in, do a little whirlpool. So I did, and it was good. And I got to sit up there for about 45 minutes. I had to do comments and emails and stuff. I did not get done this morning. And now I'm coming in for dinner. So tonight's a good night to do something simple. These chicken things that I got at the discount store and waffle fries from Sam's. I'm going to put them all in the air fryer over here. Easy dinner. I was laughing because I started my video outside and my dogs were barking. I thought for sure they'd start barking now, but it is a beautiful day. It is so gorgeous outside. Gorgeous. Being up in the mountain is so nice because it's hot. Like over in the sun there by the pool, it is really, really warm in the sun. But now it's like the, it kind of like shades from the tree. There's so many leaves in the trees. So it gets very shady up here. So tonight it'll be nice and cool up in the mountain as well. I am so glad my nose got to, uh, it still feels a little like I'm coming outside here and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to sneeze again. It's all good. It's good. It was okay sitting in the sunshine. I feel like sunshine does something to your your allergies. I'm just sneeze again. Hold on. It's okay. Tomorrow will be a new day. So I'm thinking I was going to go for a walk tonight with Greg, but I don't think I'm going to head outside any more than I have to today. So I'm going to use my treadmill tonight. So I'm trying to do that. Get back. Get on that. Get back on it. Get on it because, you know, it's important to do. I told you, starting to do things because I know it's important. So it is like 5.30 right now. The chicken and the fries are in the air fryer. That takes 25 minutes. I'll have to do one batch and then I'll do some fries. That's dinner. We've got that wonderful, delicious tasting watermelon. We're gonna eat that tonight. And then um, I'm waiting for my vacuum to charge back up. I'm gonna put it back in the pool because I did a whirlpool so the dirt's kind of in the middle. And then Jane's folding towels now. What else do we have to do? Kids gotta put some laundry away and I think that's it for this evening. So our day is done and completed, which is nice. So it's been a good day. I like, I'm tired. I'm tired because I've got allergy pills in me and everything else. <laughs> I'm going to get some good sleep tonight. I know I am. So I can be alive for tomorrow. Tomorrow, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. I have to do some running because I had all those errands to run on Tuesday and didn't accomplish all of them. So I'm hoping to accomplish them tomorrow a little bit. Get some things done. I have to go and upload and then um, I have to like return those clothes I got. Um, I bought another bathing suit. One of the girls didn't like theirs, so I have to return that. I have to return. I bought Old Navy. Old Navy. I went to the store and I thought, like, the Capri, I was telling you, I was having a hard time finding Capris for Madeline. Like, the shorter Capris, like, not ones above, like, the biker shorts, but the ones right below your knee. Well, I bought some at Old Navy and I thought that they would be regular Capris. Well, they're really, they're long, they're like cropped leggings. So they're more like on her calf. So she wants them up higher. So I bought a bunch on Amazon, or on um, Old Navy for her and she does not like that. And so, and I bought some for myself and I didn't like them either. So, I'm returning those and then I can just drop them off the mailbox which is awesome or at the post office so I just went on Amazon and bought different ones from different companies for myself and her so hopefully they will work I don't know shortage of shorter leggy they're more like capris black capris that's what I'm looking for this year so not the spandexy kind just like the knit ones polyester ones so I have to return those tomorrow and what else do I have to do post office to pick up the stuff I ordered and library you know all the good things we have to do in a day so I'm tomorrow will be a running day I'll be at home doing stuff too I have to make some food because we're gonna have to eat again tomorrow I know we are <laughs> chicken and fries are good for tonight but tomorrow I have to make some different food so I'm just gonna close today's video I can do that right it's like that day it's it's like the day I feel like it's I feel like it's a Monday because it's like the day after the weekend of doing things and I'm tired so I'm going to do those what I just said I'm gonna do edit I'm gonna get this done I'm gonna go in and finish editing get that done dinner should be done by then we can sit down and eat as a family and then the kids can clean up their stuff and then I'm gonna go down in the garage and do my treadmill for a little bit and while Greg is he's working on his truck down here and then um call it a night call it a night get some good sleep tonight so you guys have a 
fantastic. I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. Remember, you are designed, created, and selected by God to do great things on this earth. You are, and sometimes those things don't seem very great. Sometimes they seem overwhelming and tired, and you're like, okay, I'm like today, I'm cleaning my car, or oh, I'm cleaning up the yard, I'm cleaning up the pool, I'm feeling stuff inside of me, I'm taking care of kids, and it just doesn't feel like a whole lot of you're doing, but you know what, on those days, that you're doing things and your kid comes to you and tells you something and you know what you're like I'm glad I do what I do and so or when you're at work and you're doing your job and you don't think it makes much of an impact and then you get some kind of good feedback from somebody you're like okay I'm glad I do what I do even here on YouTube sometimes I do videos and I do them and sometimes life is not very exciting I feel like it's not very it's just like blah videos and you get a couple negative comments and you're like all right it just solidifies you know you get two and you're like it solidifies that I shouldn't do this anymore but then you get a flood of comments from people that say I'm glad you're here every day thank you you're like the bright spot in my day you're you're here every day you show up every day and then you're like okay I'm glad I do what I do so remember do what you're supposed to do and let God just have his perfect peace and way in your life it's a great amazing place to be so have a beautiful beautiful rest of your day my dogs love these too here's Ruby Ruby she's enjoying her life her best life ever <laughs> sneezing. All right, so you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. I will be here tomorrow. I'll see you. Bye.